Going thrift shopping today. So excited. I love a good thrift shopping day. My mom and my grandma are going with me. I'm hoping to find things for our bedroom remodel. If I can find things at the thrift store and save a little money, that's definitely the way to go. My mom just got here. In fact, she parked in the wrong spot. Hey, go ahead and just park out in the lawn. I have all my returns over here that need to come with. So I have a bunch of things that made all back to Hobby Lobby. This needs to go back to World Market. I absolutely adore this rug, but it's just too small for the area that I want it. And then I have a ton of stuff that needs to go back to Target. <laughs> On fire, baby. As we told you, we are going shopping. We've got my first part of my crew right here. We gotta go We're green. both wearing green. I have an entire list of things that I have to get. But Look, I have a list. That was gonna be my question. <laughs> Mom has things that she Only needs four to get. Things. One of them being aluminum free baking powder. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna take you along with us for the entire day. And later today, I'll show you what I got. It'll be a fun time. Let me see your hair. Your mom will do that? No, I did it. How do you do it without being able to see it? You hope it turns out. It turned out. I got mine cut, but it takes a week or two to get it right. You look cute. I look you look so cute. I look, I look old. And I want to tell you something. What? My bones do not creak. Your dad said my bones creak, and I have a bone to pick with him. I don't have one bone in my body that creaks, do I? No, no. You're... Why would he say that? You're so young and spry. If we go to a Penny's, we're going to get your bras. Yeah, yeah. I've, the ones I've had are over 10 years, ever since I had the cancer. I had to get those smaller ones. They're 10 years old. They're, they're shrinking. Yeah, Athens. Okay, guys. <gasps> oh. Did you have that today? Yeah, we all know about your creaky boobs bones. now. <laughs> <gasps> I don't care about the boobs. I'm worried about the creaky bones. Well, we got the whole gang here. Oh, this, now she's swearing. This is my grandma. <laughs> My grandma Judy, this is my dad's mom. But I don't have creaky bones. And she likes shopping just as much as us. So she's joining along for the day. And we're gonna get some serious shopping. Then. And I'm such a joy to have along. Yes. opening it wrong. How about another fortune? Secondfortune.com. Oh, here it is. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> you have tasted the bitterness as well as the sweetness of coffee. I don't sweeten my coffee. <laughs> How can I be sweet when I don't? No. Reading to the mind is what exercises to the body. And all I get is all I got was sweet coffee. <laughs> what about my mind and my body? <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. I don't eat them anyway. Uh, oh. But I do read the fortune. She only gets one fortune. Luck will visit me on the next full moon. We've had a full day of shopping. In fact, the whole back of my rogue is completely full. We're getting tired. I'm hungry. But it's been a successful day. Wouldn't you say? It has been. Oh, Jay's calling me. Hello? Hey, babe. Hi. What's happening? We are getting ready to head that way. Wait, what's that way? Home. home. Sounds like you're eating ice cream. We're eating M&M's. We're gonna go get some food, we'll head home, and then I'm gonna show you what I got tomorrow because it's gonna be dark by the time I get home. Wow, but guys, grandma. listen, every time 
we would look back at grandma when we were thrift shopping. She just kept adding more wine glasses to the cart. <laughs> oh, God. And then she lucked out. She hit like the jackpot Six, of wine glasses. 69 cents a piece and they were on sale. I got two of them for 69 cents. Glass. Five drinks richer or five glasses richer. Or she's five sheets to the wind. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, it's the next day. I was just looking at the time and I thought to myself, I better sit down and get this thrift haul filmed for you guys because it is gonna be dark before we know it. Now that winter is creeping up, it is just getting darker that much earlier every single day. It's three o'clock and the sun is already starting to go down. So anyway, I love thrift shopping. If I could have this as like a full-time job, I would do it. I love being able to go out and find good deals of something that would have cost me a lot of money, but I got for a lot cheaper. And we hit the jackpot this time. I have sacks full of stuff over here. For my little thrifting day with my mom and my grandma, we actually went to a bunch of different thrift stores, but the first stores that I'm gonna show you, all these things came from a Goodwill. So the first thing that I got are these sandals. They're from Marisa's and I'm telling you what, these things have never been worn. They are completely clean on the bottom, no sign of wear whatsoever, and they were only $4. Me, personally, I'm not afraid to buy shoes from the thrift store. I can always throw them through the washer or like spray them down with something, but these are literally brand new. The next thing that I got from this Goodwill was another pair of shoes. These were also from Reese's, and I'm telling you, these things are brand new as well. If you are willing to put in some work at a thrift store and kind of look around, you can find things brand new with tags all the time, and I got these for $8. The next few things that I got were all clothing pieces. Clothing can be definitely hit or miss at a thrift store, but we had a hit at the store. So the first thing I got was just this plain white tank top. Again, no sign of wear, no like, pit stains or anything like that. You definitely have to watch for that with white clothing. But I thought this would be super good for just a basic under like a cardigan or something. And it could also work really well as like a workout tank top. At this particular Goodwill, all their shirts were $4. Then the second thing I got is this little green kimono. Thought this would look super cute like over that white tank top or really anything. And it would just kind of have that like boho country look and I just thought it was really pretty. The detailing is really fun. This actually was brand new with the tags on it and it had a shirt underneath of it, but I did not like the shirt it came with. So what I did is actually split them apart so somebody else that liked the shirt under it could buy that and then I just bought this piece. This next thing Jay and I can actually share. So it is this buffalo check, buffalo plaid, Buffalo plaid? Buffalo check? Just like flannel. It's super thick and warm. I actually would wear this oversized and Jay could wear this to be his normal size. The last thing that I got from this Goodwill was this cream sweater. It is beyond soft. This is actually from Lulu's and if you ever shopped on Lulu's, I mean their sweaters are $40 plus and I got this for four bucks. I lied, I did get two more things at this thrift store, but that was it for clothing. So the last two things that I got were actually games. I love playing games with friends, like if we have a game night or if we go to a friend's house, I always bring a game with us. And then I also like playing games just in general if anybody's willing to play with me. So this first one would be a party game and it's called Last Word. No, that is not my last name right there. That is who it was from. But I played this at a friend's house one time and had a really good time playing it. And so when I saw this, these are only $3. I'm gonna get it. And the last game is actually a game that Jay and I can both play together if we want or if we have two other people we could play. But it's just old fashioned Racco. I love this game. I play at my parents' house every once in a while. It used to be kind of a fun game we'd play when we go camping and stuff. And so I got this. So moving on to the next Goodwill. I had gone in with the intention that I was really trying to find decor for our room remodel. And so I made a list of things that I was looking for. I went on Pinterest, screenshotted a bunch of things, um, kind of showed my family what I was looking for, and then went in purposely to search for those things. I did kind of look at the clothes as well, obviously, but that was not like my main goal. So the first thing that I got is this brown picture frame. I kind of like how it's just an old, almost antique looking wood. And so my plan is to use this somewhere in the bedroom or maybe even on the shelf. 
And then I'll probably put a picture of Jay and I in this. And then I got this old book. I was so excited when I saw it because we had already been to multiple thrift stores at this point and I was not finding any old rustic looking thick books. And when I found this, I was like, this is perfect. I'm not gonna read it, but I do wanna use this for decor. The final thing that I got was that this glass water bottle. I don't really know what the logo is that is on it, but I have a water bottle that's exactly like this and I absolutely love it. At the first thrift store, I forgot to tell you, my total was like $66, I think. And then at this thrift store, my total was $4.67. I only went to one more Goodwill and I found this. It's actually a little tray that you can put on yourself while you're sitting down, you know, eating or if you want like breakfast in bed or something. But that is actually not what I am using it for. When I edit for my YouTube channel as well as my brother's, I always sit on the couch and I don't like having the laptop directly on my legs. So usually I'll put like a pillow down and then I'll put a book or something so the computer has room to breathe. And then I put my laptop down. But now I can use this and just put that down and it has room for the computer to breathe and my legs to like have room. It was only $4. We went to One Salvation Army and I found a few things. First, I got just this like winter headband. It just has this really pretty, I don't know, like almost tribal design on it. And I think this was $3, but I wear these a ton in the winter, especially if I don't want my hair ruined completely by a hat. I wear these little headbands, so I'll just wash this and it will be good as new. Then the next thing I got is this little wooden box. It looks like it's hand engraved, although it says made in India, so not really for sure if somebody in India made it or not, but it has absolutely beautiful detailing. And I thought this would look really good in our new room or like on a shelf or something. But the last thing that I got from the Salvation Army is one of my favorite things that I got for the entire day. And that is this picnic basket. It is so beautiful. The color is perfect. The top is ever so slightly faded, but that really doesn't bother me. And then it has this carrying strap, which I think is so unique for a basket to have. The one that I currently have, you just carry by two handles, which is totally fine. This is nice to be able to throw over your shoulder. And then, wait for this, the inside. Oh, so it has these straps that you can like, buckle and close. But look at the inside of this. How beautiful is that? So it has a spot where it has plates and then you can also put your silverware up in here. And then it has this area that you can take out right here, but then you can put all your food down here in the basket. This basket was only $7, and what I like to do with these, every once in a while I'll find a really unique picnic basket, and if they're really cheap, I like to buy them and then use them as bridal shower gifts. But at the Salvation Army for those three things, I got all my stuff for $12. Next up, the store that we went to, we went to two different stores. They're both called Stuff Etc and they're kind of throughout Iowa, but they're really big, they have a lot of stuff, and um, they're one of my favorite thrift stores. So at the first Stuff Etc, first thing I got were these black joggers. They're just tight at the ankle. They're really a really thin, lightweight material, so they're just super comfy, and then they actually have this like camouflage print on them. So I thought these would be super nice just for like the winter and fall, but also just an all year round basic for like working out or just like a cozy um, thing to wear. And then I got this cropped hoodie that could be good for just like lounging around in or working out. It goes really cute with joggers, like jackets like this. I'm not that big of a cropped person, but when it comes to a hoodie, um, I do enjoy them. And the last thing that I got was for our new like room remodel. Hopefully I can find somewhere for this, but I got this tiny little clock. It's just kind of a cream color and I just thought it was really cute and kind of dainty. My total for those three things was $21.37. Then at the other stuff, etc., I did not find any room decor, but I did find three pieces of clothing. I've actually been going through my closet and getting rid of a ton of things. I've been posting at least five things weekly to my Poshmark, which I'll link down below of things that I'm trying to get rid of, just to make space for new things that I've been buying. And some of my clothes I've had since I've been in like junior high, and so it's just time to part with some of them. 
but I got this sweater. It's just this beautiful dark green color. And then it has this line through it that's like this shiny silver. And I thought this would be really beautiful for like the month of December. And my book study group is actually gonna be having a like little fiesta and I thought this would be really pretty to wear to like our Christmas party and I could wear it with black skinny jeans and little black booties and I got this for $5.99. I'm actually a huge sucker for just like school crew necks and some of my crew necks are starting to get pretty gross, worn out, ripped and I've moved them to like painting sweatshirts and so they had this one from the Rams I guess and I just thought this would be a real cozy just round the house sweatshirt and I also really like crewnecks with vests and so I got this for $5.99 except it might have been on sale yes this originally was $5.99 but they put dates on the tags and so this was out of the range I got it 50% off and I ended up getting it for three dollars yeah one more thing from there I got this sweater the brand is BDG and it was $6.99 and it's just a really cute basic cardigan, but kind of is tight on the arms, a little slouchy. And I just thought this was super cozy and like it screamed fall, winter, spring. And so my total at this stuff, etc., was $16.94. And last but not least, this is my favorite thing that I got out of all the thrift stores. I went in with the hope that I could find a arched mirror for our room but if you know anything about mirrors they are expensive as heck and i found one for cheap and i love it this was my favorite find of the entire day i got this arched mirror it's absolutely perfect i was hoping i'd find a mirror and i've been having a hard time i really did not want to spend you know a hundred plus dollars on a mirror and i found this one for 45 dollars this is actually from a store that's called restore and essentially they just take like light fixtures, mirrors, fans, old paint, floor remnants, like anything home remodel wise. So I got this there for $45 right when I walked in. I saw it right away and I ran up and I threw it in my cart because I did not want anyone else to spot it. And I'm so pleased with it. It was a really fun time thrifting with my mom and my grandma. Got a lot of good things. I'm excited about it all. And um, now I can't wait to go thrifting again, although I need to back off for just a little bit. But next time I go, I'll have to take you guys along with and show you what I got. If you enjoyed this type of video of me kind of doing a little thrift haul, please let me know down in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe. It really helps my channel out a lot, and I'm glad to have you guys here. So I will see you guys in the next one.